Hey guys, I'm starting some of my home remodel projects and one of them was to switch out my hardware. But I counted up all the knobs I would need, the hinges, the screws, the locks, everything. And that gets to add up really, really fast and I felt I could better spend my money elsewhere. So what we have here is the current condition of our knobs. Um, this one's actually not as bad as some of them. They're that ugly brass, fake brass, whatever, and it's peeling off, it's dated, and I wanted to go to an oil rub bronze, which is what this is. So I'm going to show you how to go from this to this, um, a DIY, and it's going to save you a lot of money. Now, of course, if you want to, of course, just go buy your new knobs, but like I said, I found other places that I would rather put my money into my home rather than <laughs> the dog, rather than um, knobs. So here we go. What you see here is some styrofoam. You don't have to have styrofoam. It's just I figured, hey, it works, and I started using it. So I got my whoops, my screws, and I found this. Oh, and if you're wondering, my hands are just. They look like I haven't bathed in a month. It's just spray paint. So anyway, I got my screws and I'm just gonna place them in Mom, here. Be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet? Yeah, because I see grasshoppers. Oh. Okay. So anyway, I'm just placing the screws in the holes. You can tell I've already done some here. So I'm just gonna put them back in the holes here. Because you really only need to spray paint the tops of your screws because you're not going to see the rest of the screws. So I got them in. Now the paint I'm using is um, Rust-Oleum. It's this Rust-Oleum Universal Metallic Paint and Primer in One. Um, it's in oil rubbed bronze. So that's the paint I'm using. And I also have also by Rust-Oleum. I really I like to stick with this brand. I've tried other brands of spray paint and I really wasn't pleased. But this is Rust-Oleum um, Matte Clear Enamel and it's just a protective finishing spray. So I'm going to use that as well. So what you want to start with is you get your knob and obviously have it clean which believe it or not this one is actually clean. And then you have some sandpaper and just go ahead and start sanding all the knobs. Every You want every surface. You don't need to get it like super gritty, but um, you want every little um, surface of the knob to be sanded because uh, if it's a little gritty, it's going to help your um, spray paint stick to it better. If it's not gritty and sanded, your spray paint will flake off over time easier. So I'm going to start by doing that to all the knobs. As you guys can see it's sanded on all the surfaces and I'm going to give my paint a shake. And what I start by doing is I actually on on these with the this is what would be the male part of the door knob I think. So anyway I hold down here and I'm going to spray around the base first because once I put it in the styrofoam, that part is kind of hard to get. So I'm, and the trick with spray painting, and I've done videos on spray painting before, and this is an important tip. Um, it's an important step, but when you spray paint, you're gonna press your nozzle over starting on the left side, and you, or whatever side, and you're gonna do one pass. You don't wanna get too close, you'll get drippage. And you only, you don't wanna sit there and just go like that all over it, cause it'll drip. So you're gonna, Press and then release. Press and then release. And you're going to do that around until it's covered. So I'm going to go ahead and this has primer in it, by the way, if I didn't mention that already. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to do these screws. I hear the sprinklers. And now I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to do the bottom. And this, my folks, is why my hands are so dirty. Um, I am planning on doing my hinges, but I'm not going to do those until I'm ready to take the doors off because we're going to be re repainting all of our doors as well. So I'm going to grab it at the very tippy top where it's not painted. And I'm going to find the hole I want to put it in. And there we go. So now for the top, again... 
just you don't want to rush it and these these don't take a lot of paint but you do want to make sure all your surfaces are covered okay and then for the shorter ones again I I want to get the bottoms and you're just gonna have to deal with it either get gloves or get some paint on your hands I quite don't mind because I'm not going anywhere anyway but I'm gonna do the bottom portion and I'm gonna place it in my spot here and I'll do the rest. Okay, over here, you'll see I have my little um, thingamajig. I don't know what part of the knob that's called, but anyway, that's real simple. You just there you go, and you're done with one. And if you get them all off at the same time, line them up, it's super, super easy. You just do them all at once and you're done. Um, oh, da, 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 da. What am I trying to think of next? Um, you're gonna wanna wait about an hour for these. I, I do maybe half an hour to an hour and then I will show you what we do with this next step. But that's where we're at so far. Now it's been about an hour and um, they're pretty good and set. You're not gonna wanna install these for a full 24 hours, at least I don't, because I want them to be as set as possible so that we don't get scuffs or dings on them right away. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, like I said before, we got this Rust-Oleum um, Matte Clear Enamel. I like the matte, I don't want super, super shiny knobs. I want them to kinda, I don't know. Anyway, this is what I'm using. Give it a shake, and this is super, super easy. Just do a once over, same technique, spray. You don't want to get too close. Go around the back and the front of them. And I'm gonna do these knobs back here too. But anyway, guys, as you can see, this is a really simple, simple project. And they turn out pretty darn nice if you ask me. Um, you wouldn't be able to really tell that they've been painted if you do it correctly. Um, so yeah. That's it, guys. Now I'm going to let this... Oh, I can't remember how long it says to let this sit. I've been just leaving it sit for an hour um, before I take them in. And then, like I said, a full 24 hours before I reinstall them. All right, guys. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.